Imagine just, oh, you know what? I'm getting married. I'm having a baby. And I'm about to go out here and stab this cow. <laughs> Put it in the wine. What? <laughs> and I wonder how much. What? Of it, you know, is it a little like a taster glass of the mixture? <clears throat> yeah, that's what is I couldn't it find a out. A little bit more, like how much like was how it? How much is it? And, and do I you have somebody more like, than one serving. I wanted somebody to just put it under there and they dip their finger in it and give oh. it a good swirl. <laughs> oh that's exactly God. what I imagined. I what? Like, that's what you imagined? Stop it! It's good. <laughs> Stop it! Really. <laughs> Welcome to Odd Pairing Podcast. I am your host with my co-host, Natasha. I'm here. We're here for another another day, yeah. another episode. Yeah. And um, how's your week? It was it was good. I got a little sick over the weekend, so I sound like crap right now. No. But this is my low registers. I'm your in the register? RE. Yeah. What does that mean? It's basically like where you singing, you have like different registers. So it's like your section like you can sing a high note you can sing a medium note which is like the melody always and then a lower note and i'm usually around the melody uh -huh. all, at all times like my notes are kind of in the middle but now i'm like in the low but is that do they have different names they do like, the, like soprano yes, alto yes, yes, yes. tenor oh so that's what it is it's yeah i that. can do tenor right now oh. <laughs> so when you have cold you do your tenor i can do my tenor yeah <laughs> Well, that's fine. I'll wake up in the morning to Armando and be like, hey, baby. Yeah. He's like, oh, hi. Yeah. Who's, what oh, man whoa. is this? <laughs> it's a room. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But that's, that's basically kind of how my weekend went, just nursing myself yeah. back to health. What about yourself? Uh, well, uh, lots of family time. Mm -hmm. uh, something that did happen is uh, we were invited to a... Uh, a birthday party for one of the kids in the class. Okay. Uh, on a Saturday, we went to the playground, which is like my kid's favorite playground. We uh -huh. show up. There's like this big bounce house. And I'm like, look, it's going to be a cool party. I like, walk up. Don't know a single person. Uh -huh. And we're like walking around the park. Like there's no one here. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what if the party is somewhere else? I misread it, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. So I go home, grab the invitation, and the party was the next day. <laughs> So I'm like, uh, what? take two. <laughs> and we went to the party on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Everyone was there. Yeah. So kids had a fabulous time. But oh, good. I just assumed it was on a Saturday, not on a Sunday for mm -hmm. a birthday party. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. I just, yeah, I just assumed it was a Saturday party. But it makes sense because everybody was out on Monday. Yeah. 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 Because of the holiday and stuff like yeah. that. So there was that going on. But I have never like shown up to a party a day early. <laughs> So that was an experience, and kids was like, park twice. Yeah, they were like pumped because yeah. they got to go to their favorite park two days in a row, <laughs> and they got to have a fabulous time. But right. uh, my husband was like shocked. He was like, "You of all people, <laughs> didn't read the invitation all the way." And I'm like, "Yeah, I, I guess I didn't. Sorry." <laughs> you saw weekend party. Yeah. Period. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. So that was fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our set because on one of our other episodes, I didn't get to talk about it and definitely didn't get to talk about it when we interviewed someone else. So um, I want you guys to know that we have a brand new, brand new set. Thanks to me and Paige, by the way, because I want my producer out there to know that if it wasn't for me and Paige, this wouldn't happen. Me and Paige had a vision. We were architecting this thing, and we said, you know what? Channeled and communicated. Yeah, we was like, <laughs> you know, we want something more relaxed. Because as you guys saw last season, we was kind of at a table, which nothing was wrong with that table. It just wasn't conducive to what we were doing as an alcoholic <laughs> podcast, okay? We do a lot of adult beverages here, and we wanted people to feel relaxed. Yeah, more cozy, cozy and just like feel... Yeah, more more comfortable. Yeah, about I don't know sharing the experience of sharing a drink. Yeah, <laughs> and so this is what it would look like 
if we were in the living room, yeah, we would kind of or on a patio. Mm-hmm. This is what it would look Depending like. We got the greenery and the background and yeah. everything. So this is exactly what it would look like in terms of us being able to just be relaxed and enjoying a drink. Yes. And so with that enjoying a drink, let me introduce our drink. So I don't know if you guys remember on the very first episode, I talked about Old Smoky Moonshine, Tennessee Moonshine. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a second commercial for them because I really want them to start sponsoring these episodes. So this episode, we're going to be tasting their pickled. Yeah. Like because I'm, we're both pickle fans, yes, which I yes. found out. And I'm absolutely a fan that we both love pickles. Yeah. And so I wanted to try this. And this one is also still uh, distilled out of corn. And uh, it's 20%. Yeah, so which is just a little not, bit more than a glass of wine. Yeah. And it's not like having But it's a, not yeah. like having, you know, absent. <laughs> <laughs> Something much... Right. Yeah. So I'm going to pour us uh, just the juice. So we have new, if you guys can tell here, we have new glassware with our names on it. Look at us all official. Things are getting real. Pour us a little here. We'll smell the like pickle seeds. juice in here later. I was going to say the seeds and everything <laughs> coming out. Go smell like pickle juice in here later. That's so. And definitely smells, pickle juice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, have you had this before? I have not. Okay, this is my first so time tasting it too. Cheers. Cheers. Not just, bad. That's just drinking pickle juice. Without, without alcohol in it. With alcohol in it, but without like, um, because it, I mean, it does have some of the spices, but not yeah. a lot of the spice. So it is just the, the juice. The deal, culture. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. That's dangerous. Well, yeah, if you like to sip on pickle juice all the time. Because, <laughs> I mean, pickle juice has its health benefits as well. But For um, something, I want to say it's like the lower blood pressure. It does something. Because I remember in the South, people would say drink pickle juice for something. Somebody oh. out there tell me what it was. Yeah. Because I remember Add us. that it's a reason why. <laughs> and I'm sure that... Is uh, it, I know it's vinegar... And then the other spices. Something. Something along the line. Hmm. I know they do like picklebacks. What is it? I was going to say picklebacks. Well, Uh, then there's that. There's that. (laughs) There's picklebacks. Yeah. Where you can use pickle juice as your backer, your chaser. Yeah. To some some shots. Yeah. Which I don't think I've ever done. But I didn't have. But now it's, it's combined now. Now it's combined. You don't even need it. You, know, you don't even need You don't need the other alcohol. It's all in here. But you really don't even taste that, like the alcohol part. Again, just like. Another danger. The other, the other two that we tried. Yeah. Wasn't like that either. Because the. The apple pie or. Um, well, the apple, apple, the apple pie was, you could kind of taste, kinda taste the, it. You could kind of taste it. It was a, because it was 70 proof. Yeah, so it this was a little 20, bit higher. That's yeah. right. And then so. the peaches that we had, it was 35 yeah, proof. Those are good. But the juice in it, yeah, nothing. that was nothing. Yeah, that was good. Woo! Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. I love it. We'll try the pickles in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, what we're going to talk about this week is... Oh, uh, we're talking about traditions. And drinking customs that you probably haven't heard of before. Yes. So we have fun doing research on that. I mean. Oh, yeah. It's not like we knew them and right. other people didn't. Right. <laughs> so uh, we found a few and we wanted to share them with you guys. And we're just going to kind of dialogue on them a little bit, too, because we were kind of shocked. shocking. Yeah. At what these people do. And, um, yeah. So I get right into, um, first, the, uh, they're called the Mozzie Warriors in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. So they drink this like a honey wine, honey mead type of um, beverage. And so what they do is they do it with a twist. And I hope that you guys aren't eating <laughs> while you're also listening to this because they mix cow's blood. Yeah. In the honey mead and the honey wine. And um, 
it's a live cow at that. So to injure it with an arrow, mm -hmm. pierce it a little bit, mm -hmm. bring blood, it out. The blood squirts out. <laughs> yep, that's what it. That's yes. what they said. Exactly <laughs> what they do. It's squirting out all over the place. And then they mix and, it in with the wine. And then they drink it. Yeah. They're, I don't know. Some people really like that metallic <clears throat> flavor. Not I, said the cat. <laughs> Not I. And then, and then this is, this is the, the messed up part. India is going to hate this when they hear it. They patch the cow back up and then let it live a decent life and then go back and eat it later. Do they eat it? I thought that they let it go like they kind of like didn't fully sacrifice it. Not in that moment. Okay. They let it go back and like, oh, I pierced you a little bit. But I got let you the know, blood, I drank it. Don't play with me. <laughs> now you can go back and graze, and then I'll kill you fully and I'll kill a you different fully day. Later. Oh my god. Yeah. So that's what that's what they do. So they do that for special occasions I'd and celebrations. So. I'd hope so. <laughs> it wasn't on the regular. <laughs> right? Imagine just, oh, you know what? I'm getting married or I'm having a baby. And I'm about to go out here and stab this cow. <laughs> it in the wine. What? <laughs> and I wonder how much. What? <laughs> of it. You know, is it a little like a taster glass of the mixture? Yeah, that's what is I couldn't find out. Is it a little bit more? Like how much like was how it? how much is it? And, and do I you wonder have somebody more like, than one serving? I wonder if somebody just put it under there and they dip their finger in it and give no. it a good swirl. <laughs> Oh that's exactly God. what I imagined. I was what? Like, that's what you imagined? Stop it. That's good. <laughs> Stop it. Really? That's exactly what I saw. Oh. Yeah. Definitely have different visions. <laughs> what Mine did you was see? Like, uh, like a giant pot that they had or barrel or something like that mm -hmm. that would have had the meat or the wine or whatever. And then, then they pierced the cow, they collected it, and then they put it in, and you kind of have like a community wine blood pot. And then you like ladle it out or something. Wow. What do you think about that? I mean, I mean, I think it might be a little better than like people it, catching, no, no, no. like I catching, need, squirting blood in I their wine glass. I needed it to be barbaric. Oh. I, <laughs> I like, need them to go out there with this arrow and pierce it. Everyone's holding their glass under there. Then they got the witch doctor to come behind and patch the cow up and pat it on the butt and it runs out into the field. Goes eat some grass. And it goes eat some grass. Live its life. Tells the others. It's very interesting of our <laughs> concepts of reading the exact same thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's exactly what I saw. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, another one <laughs> that we, we found was in Thailand. They have no such thing as a bottoms up, which I love when, bottoms up. When I was in Thailand, <laughs> I don't remember them. I don't remember this being a thing. I mean, plus you bring a bunch of Americans together and drinking in Thailand. We we do it our own. But day. you weren't like tradition, like drinking like, <clears throat> traditionally in no, Thailand. You were drinking no, like an we American. Was, yeah, <laughs> just like an American. At so the you time. were definitely doing bottoms up, right? <laughs> and so for them, it's considered rude. To finish the drink, which I, I kind of want to know, like what that looks like. Well, I mean, it's not. You probably are only leaving. I again, what mm -hmm. I envision is just like a tiny, kind of like that ten percent backwash that you don't want to drink anyway. <laughs> right. So maybe it is a good thing that right. we shouldn't be bottoms up being, if that's what it's called, bottoms. Yeah, bottoms up. Yeah, they call it. They call it <laughs> no such thing as bottoms up. Yeah. So at all times, you're supposed to have a glass that is at least half full. You will get to finish that glass eventually after the oldest person leaves the table. That one, I was kind of like, I wonder <clears throat> what if you had something that needed to be served cold and that old person wouldn't get the hell out of there exactly. and then it all warms up and then it goes to shit. Because they I'd needle be super, it around. I'd be super <laughs> mad. I like now, so. I don't even want to drink it either because you made it get all warm and that's not how you're supposed to consume that <laughs> beverage. <laughs> well, I'm just sitting there because you took so long to leave. At the same time, <laughs> I guess that the drinks aren't being like pounded because they're kind of sipping, right? 
Is that yeah. what you would think? Like they I are, guess, yeah. they're like kind of like sipping it so that it doesn't get like to the bottom. Well, I guess it also depends on the type of alcohol. You know, like <clears throat> if it is like a spirit that's a hundred proof or something right. like that. Like yeah, you're sipping on that. But if it is like a beer and you have to leave your beer half full, yeah, and then they get super warm and. I guess it depends, right? Yeah, which is how the- angry I would be. <laughs> I mean, first of all, <laughs> Granny or, or Grandpa, I'm going to need you to get your ass up. Yeah. Because if it's something like a beer, then it's warm. Yeah. I'm not drinking it anyway. Yeah. Or like a, a white wine or a something. Right, that's why I was curious as to like what type of. Yeah. They didn't really specify that when I was doing the research on that yeah. one. Yeah. But. The Russians are the complete opposite. Hmm. You can't leave an empty glass on the table, which basically means as soon as you finish, you have to put the glass under the table mm-hmm. and then you have to fill out something else, like immediately. Which so you makes, always have a full glass. You always have a full glass. They do not believe, which I remember that when I visited Russia. Yeah. I remember that you cannot have, they won't even let your water on the table get empty. So like it has to be yeah. something always has to be like in your glass, but it makes sense on why Russia is one of the most alcoholic countries. Well, it's out really there. cold there. Yeah, so it keeps them warm. I guess. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also like in Russia and Poland, that uh, downing a shot of vodka in one single gulp, no matter how big that shot is. And Imagine. I, I, my dad traveled to Ukraine for work, and I remember one time. When he had gone over there, he came back and told a story. It was like probably like one of the only times as that he's been this hungover. Mm-hmm. But he went out on this work trip, dinner, and they ended up it was that thing happened where it was like and everybody, if any everybody kept cheersing and making toast. Yep. And everyone had to take the whole shot. And he's like, I've never taken that many shots of vodka. Yeah. Uh-uh. Never wanted to, uh-uh. never will again. But like when you're in that, like in that space Mm -hmm. and in that culture and you're like trying not to be rude and, you know, like you're trying to embrace that and have that experience. Yeah. There's that. Yeah. It makes me nervous about going to, I don't really want to go to Russia right now, but. Right, right. Not right now. (laughs) Not in this economy. (laughs) Not in this economy. Not the current ruler. We don't want to go over there, but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, and, and and what I've learned when I went to uh, Russia is that vodka means water. Oh really? Well, so if you ask clear. for water, they'll give you it. They give you vodka. How do you ask for real water? You have to say like what water is, like in, tap in water. Yeah, you or, have to say oh, like there's... what it is in Russian. Oh. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what the word actually yeah, was. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You have to say that word. You can't be like, oh, let me get some water. And I'm like, ha, and like ha, vodka, well, this is to the water. Table. Yeah. Yeah. This it's is our water. Table. Yes. <laughs> and it makes a lot of sense because when we ordered it, we, everybody was like, oh, let's just get around the waters first. You know how we do. Yeah. Yeah. The big waters thing. that you don't big drink. Big ass thing of vodka. <laughs> it's like, what is, so, you know, of course we're like, oh yeah, with ice and everything. Uh-uh. Wait, what? Yeah. I didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't ask for vodka on the rocks. That's what you got. Pretty much is what, what you got. got. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Then don't send it back. No. Yeah. Just keep Literally. it on your table full. <laughs> yeah. Do, don't drink anything. <laughs> don't drink it. Don't drink it down. Yeah. But yeah, that's interesting that you have to do it in one single gulp because I choke just a little bit of doing just a regular shot. I wonder if you can do <clears> the <throat> plug in your nose. You I tried that before and I still can't. With a giant, with a giant shot sometimes. It or else. Oh, maybe it's just like a lot of Because something about me <laughs> and drinking, like, if I take a shot, I still have to, like, hold it in my mouth a little bit Why? and, like, take a little bit down. I don't know. I can't do. Now, my husband? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I see him drink water, and I'm like, how do you slide it down? Yeah. Like, your guzzle like that. Just, just like, flapped open. Like, it, it is. And I'm like, bro, what? Me? Nope. That's uh-uh. impressive. It is. It's very impressive. Yeah. For me, uh-uh. I'm one of those people who be, like, at a time. Yeah. So you I, don't like taking shots in no. general? No. Yeah. Whether well, they're can. one go- Well. I can. But, yeah. like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to disappear out the glass. Yeah. It's going to disappear. But it's going to be in my mouth a little. Yeah. Because I'm going to be taking my time. That's why you it. need that pickleback. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now we got moonshine put it back. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's talk about Northern Spain a little bit. Um, they have a festival, a, a Haro wine festival, and the guests show up with jugs, buckets, and other containers filled with wine for a fun field battle. So this is what their battle is. What I found out what the battle was. Okay, I was going to ask. They're literally dumping what they have onto a person. What? Yes. So imagine somebody comes with a big ass bucket of wine, probably red, right? Or white. Yeah. And it's sticky. And they dump that shit on you. Is it bad wine? Is that why they're throwing, like. I don't. What? They didn't say whether it was good or bad. They just said <laughs> they have to come with different jugs, buckets, and other container filled. And it's called a fun field battle. And they literally dump it on each other. As a black woman, you're not finna put no alcohol in my hair. Uh uh. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't think what? I would enjoy that. Apparently, in northern Spain, it's, it's the thing to do at this wine festival. I mean, I wonder if they're like drinking before they start dumping. I'm pretty sure they are. People. I'm pretty sure they are. Like, it takes a special kind of person to just be like, I'm gonna And how waste many this. people actually can, well, I mean, <clears throat> how many people. Participate in the I don't, I don't bucket a, container jug dumping. It's a lot of people. Yeah. It's a festival. Well, Spain also has the running of the bulls where they like, oh, they have that. But there's, isn't there like a tomato one where they throw rotten tomatoes? What? Tomatoes, like a tomato thing. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. I got I to gotta know. You have to yeah. text me that one. Yeah. Because that puts the whole thing <sighs> really on throwing tomatoes. Really trying to dig back in the memory <laughs> right now and... That puts a lot on the tomato throw in when people tell bad jokes. Yeah. Maybe that's where they came from. Yeah. I don't know if it's around harvest or something. I'll look it up, but Ew. for some reason I remember Rotten tomatoes. there's being something about like tomato throwing in Spain. <laughs> uh, some of this pickle juice. Another fest. Oh, I'll take you can fill her up. Fill you up. Another festival, summer festival in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, when someone finishes off a bottle of liquor, it's a tradition to drop a lit match inside of the bottle. Mm -hmm. So whatever little bit of liquor is left in the bottle will be consumed by the flame in the blink of an eye with a whoosh mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's believed that this custom will take the devil out of the bottle. Yep. So it's almost like a magic trick. But there's like, like they... nothing in the bottle anymore. Isn't the devil already out? True. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of like a superstition, right? Yeah, yeah. I can it's like, that. oh, you know, I make sure that the bottle is just cleansed all the way. So I'm going to drop this match in there with the alcohol that's probably aligned mm -hmm. throughout the bottle. So it's probably yeah. like a little left. And then they throw it in there. Poof. Makes a little magic trick. Poof. The devil is gone. Everybody's like, yeah, jumping up let's open the next bottle. Having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I would do. Yeah. All right. Let's try to find the devil in the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's at the bottom of that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I yeah, Venezuela, that's a, that's a very um, odd kind of thing to do. Yeah. But at the same time, when but you I think about like superstition, it, yes. like it makes sense. Like the ritual and the aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Because it's yeah. not just them doing, like, just, you know, a whoosh magic trick. It's more of, we got to get the devil out. Right. It's like a religious aspect of the, the drinking. Yeah. Or not the religious, not being religious while drinking, but it's being intertwined. Yeah. It's a spiritual, like, a spiritual thing. Spiritual yeah. thing happening with drinking. Yeah. I'm gonna I wonder if time. something happened. I'm going to do it at my next party that okay. I have. I wonder if something happened one time where they were like, because people drank, I mean, this is obviously just me, uh -huh. speculation, uh -huh. but like, because they drank a full bottle of this liquor, then somebody was like, kind of crazy, because they got super drunk looked. and mm -hmm. blah, 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 that they're like, oh, the devil was in that bottle, we need to get rid of, you know, maybe that's kind of how, because of people's behavior after consuming a full bottle of liquor, Yes, that's where it came from, maybe. Yes. Again, speculation, mm -hmm. not fact. Mm -hmm. But but the I logic mean, it makes sounds sense. like it might make sense. 
Because that would quickly sober me up if I've never seen that before. Yeah. And you just did that. And I'd be like, ooh, did something blow up at the table? Yeah. I'm sober now. <laughs> mm hmm You know what I mean? Mm hmm Yeah. <clears throat> so they were That's acting crazy. possessed. Yeah. That's exactly what they would do. Yeah. That makes Wild. Sense. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> what are they doing in Czech Republic? Uh, believe by many that if you toast with your arms crossed, bad sex is on the horizon. So this Shit. is this is what I was confused about. So of course, here go my imagination. Let's hear it. Like, are you? <laughs> can you can you cross your arms <laughs> like this? Or is it like like a toast like maybe this? if you're like this. Maybe if you have like one arm and the other arm kind of across and you're toasting like that. Or is it if we're all toasting in a circle, our arms cross, does that mean that we're going to have like bad sex on the horizon? We Listen, toast. if you're drinking, bad sex is on the horizon anyway. <laughs> you, don't have to, yeah. you don't have to toast nothing. No. I don't care what people say about if they think that their sex is great after drinking. It's all bad. It's all, you're all over the place. You're messy. You're messy. It's not fun. <laughs> you don't remember it. <laughs> you trying to take your pants off. You tripped over in one leg of it. It's, don't ask me how I know. I just know that bad <laughs> sex is on the horizon anyway. Yeah. I don't think your arms have anything to do with that. I don't think at <laughs> all. Well, I mean, they, I mean. Consumption. Yeah. It's the consumption at that point. Yep. And then in France and Germany, it's customary to toast while maintaining eye contact. Which That's where that came from. We did that. We, yes. We was trying to figure that out on the very yeah, first Yeah, awkward season. eye contact. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know it has something to do with trust. Yes. Yeah. That's the reason why they kept that eye contact the entire time. So listen, guys, if someone does not keep eye contact, they're shifty. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Well, Don't it also them. says that if uh, that France, and back to France, Germany, like if you don't maintain eye contact, it'll result in seven years of bad sex. That's worse than breaking a mirror. So, so there's that. There's a lot. There's a lot at risk. A lot at stake. <laughs> They don't maintain those eye contact for four seconds. <laughs> These superstitions run a lot into logic. Like the actual yeah. science of it. They're thinking they're going to bed and just being like, I, it was because I didn't maintain eye, con eye contact. And <laughs> my arms were crossed. And my arms were crossed. <laughs> when it's really, you got toasted yeah. and lit. And boom, there it is. Like, Everyone needs an excuse. Apparently. Crossed arms and no eye you. contact are excuses a, for bad sex. I bet you it was a man. I oh. bet you it was a man. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you he was like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be ashamed. It was because you had your arms crossed. It was because your it's arms, your fault. Yep, your arms are crossed. You broke <laughs> eye contact and now we have bad sex every time. It's your <laughs> fault, woman. <laughs> and she's went. looking like, no, I remember. Yeah. And then and, in Spain, oh, mm -hmm. I mean, in Spain, it's been said that toasting without alcohol will have a similar effect on your libido. So now they're trying to get the ladies drinking. Man, men. It's them. It's them. <laughs> it's them. I, I know who it is. I know who it is out there. You guys are coming up with these rules. Yeah. And so uh, looks like in South Korea, it's customary to clap before taking the shot of soju. Mm -hmm. That is true. I've oh. seen that. You've done it? I've seen that, yes. It is customary to clap. Huh. I thought it was the weirdest thing, because you can see all these Koreans <laughs> like, like yeah. clapping, and you're like, why are we clapping, guys? Did, is it because I'm taking a, a shot that you've never seen me take before, or like what's happening here? It says it, clapping is meant to show respect to the person offering the drink and to acknowledge the social significance of the act of drinking kind mm -hmm. of like a pay attention yep we're drinking mm -hmm. that yeah but it's more like a oh just it's a more like a, just a just one a single. a single clap oh, sorry yeah sorry i did the double i mean <laughs> for myself if i'm the one who's presenting i want to i want a round of applause like, hey everybody <laughs> i want more than one clap 
Right. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. And then the last one we found here is in some parts of Scandinavia, it's mm -hmm. traditional to drink beer or mead from a drinking horn. And then the horn is often decorated with intricate carvings or design and is passed around. So we're sharing that horn with a group of people during celebrations or feasts or things like that. Probably and I've seen that in like Vikings. different movies. Yeah. Of people have like that little horn. People still do it. I want one. Let's find you a horn. I want a horn. Yeah. And share it? Share drinks share out it. of it? Share it. Yeah. Just, I want to do the whole we, like, Scandinavian custom. Thing? Yeah, of course. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. what we, we want to make sure that that happens. Yeah, I don't think that was happening back in the day. And, oh, for sure not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, people back, and they probably was drunk already, so back watching. Oh, they probably had beards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they had, to, oh, and then, you know, they already had food in the beard. Ew. So they had food flying off in the horn. That's disgusting. It was food flying off in the horn. So there's alcohol in the horn. Yes. And that makes a world of difference. Then you don't care. I Apparently guess. you I guess. don't. Apparently you don't. Or you don't care as much. Apparently, you, you, you really don't. And I think, I think what, what really grinds my gears about that is... Grinds your gears? Grinds my gears. Oh, that's good. About, like, that horn thing is... The passing around of the horn, and the, when I think, I think of babies and backwash. You know when you drink after a baby? You mean like a toddler? Like, yeah. <laughs> when you drink after a baby. It's disgusting. Half of their food is in like your it's drink. in the drink. I remember, yeah. Like you could see it. Like flow. I've seen moms do it. And they'll be like, oh, you know, take a little bit of this. And it's like a glass of water. But when they get the water back, it's, yeah, it's there. Everything's it floating It is the in toddlers there. from that point forward. So that's I, exactly what I thought about. Ew. But you can't see but it these in are the like horn. A, oh, yeah. Maybe that's why. Because what is it, a ram's horn or? Probably. What other horned animals are in Scandinavia? <laughs> so these horns. Can't be too much of a ram because it gets a little yeah. spinny. But still, I'm pretty sure that they, it was like a crazy straw, right? A crazy straw. <laughs> <laughs> they just like poured it back. There's some in here. It's just in this loop. Yep. It's in this loop. So I'm going to shake it until it I get it in there. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. Yeah. And they were doing it. They did it. So I wonder if Scandinavia decided that they wanted to combine their um, tradition with Tanzania. <laughs> oh. The blood in the horn takes yeah. it to a whole nother level. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Scandinavia probably was doing mead too. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. Drink beer or mead. See? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tanzania is like pretty far away from Scandinavia. True. But I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking of if I wanted it to be like this kind of combining of the cultures. Mm. That would be that, one for the books. Stab that cow. Yeah. Mix it up with your finger. That's exactly what I saw. <laughs> this is exactly what it looked like to me. Jeff's kiss. Ah. Oh Everybody, my gosh, have that a drink. Is so, like, so brutal. Everybody, have a drink. I like my community pot of blood and wine with a ladle. <laughs> kind of like, line up, everyone get their glass. And I wonder, was the meat? Or remember everybody when we get had their the horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> remember when we had that meat in one of those other episodes? Yes. And it was with the um... mediocrity, is where we had the <clears throat> meat from, and we were both. Like shockingly, very pleased, surprised, and pleased that. And the old mead was thicker. Yes, it would be like sticking to the sides. So think about how Ew. thick it was, with also the blood in there. Okay, gross. Because you had to do it with your finger. Oh my god! <laughs> you had to mix it up. Because who in Tanzania was taking spoons out there and like freaking mixing it up? But if they're doing the community one, then I guess yeah, that's what they're doing. So yeah. Yeah, that makes a well, lot of sense. Well, that's what happens when our imaginations go wild. Yeah. 
<laughs> so if you guys can think of any other traditions, even traditions like weird customs you probably have within your own family, because that was the one that we thought mm. about. Like we tried to figure out where this came from where, when people cheers and then they put yeah. it on the table. We found out we made that shit up. Yeah, it didn't come from it didn't come from or anywhere. Specific or certain culture or region. We literally made that shit up. Yeah. And then it, show a it sign of respect. spread it like wildflower. Yeah. I was just like, why are you putting it? We're drinking. Why are you putting it back on the table? I remember the first time I saw it and everybody did it. Like they didn't, no one came to the table and was like, hey, you might want to sure sit down. Make sure you and fucking tap drink. down to the. Everybody did it. And I was like, y'all finish? Did they almost <laughs> drop their glass? Is that why they? Trying to figure out why. Yeah. Or it probably was coming from one of them customs where you do as the elder. Mm. So the elder almost dropped their glass and they yeah. was like, ah! Gotta make them feel comfortable. <laughs> that could be you, it. Because you don't want to get up. Yeah. They fucking haven't finished their drinks yet. Um, <laughs> make my drink warm. Yeah. Like, who, who wants to do that? Yeah. So, yeah. So this was, this was a very enlightening episode in terms of... Mm-hmm. It was fun. What we found. Mm-hmm. And the imagination that runs wild when you don't <laughs> see these traditions being played out. Yeah. Because I really need to go on YouTube and probably see if they still yeah, do that Yeah, you might need to look up that Tanzania one and report back. And if they don't put their fucking finger in there and swirl it around and taste it like a small year. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I need somebody, like, in the air. <laughs> oh That's my. what I'm looking for. I don't yes. think that's going to, I don't, uh-huh. I mean, I, I hope you find it. Uh-huh. I really do. I need them to like, mm, it's got a hint of metallic. Yeah. I need that. Oh, this cow eats a lot of apricots or something. Oh, obviously this is Wagyu beef. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Well. That's the end of our those episode. Are, those, are, those are the stories we, we wanted to share today. Yeah, yeah. Kind of let you guys know a little bit about like what people are doing in these other countries that are just boozing away. And they have these weird traditions. Yeah. So if you guys have know any traditions that anyone, that maybe your family does that's, that's mm-hmm. weird, or maybe something in your culture that's not on the internet yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not on the internet? Please. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. We would love to share those yeah. on another episode, please. And uh, make sure that you guys like and subscribe and all those great things. Did you eat one of these yet? Not yet. Okay. Let's uh, sign off eating pickles. Mm-hmm. For sure. Because Put some pickles in there. Because we can. And then um, <laughs> we also want you guys to know that we engage with you guys on social media. So when you comment, me and Paige are in the comments talking to you. Because we love engaging with you guys. Do we cheers pickles? We could cheers pickles. Do we pick cheers the pickle? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cheers. cheers. Pickle. Signing off. Signing off, odd pairing. Thanks for listening and watching Odd Pairing. So please subscribe, like, rate, and comment with your favorite drinking stories and curiosities about adult beverages. Yeah. Cheers. I'm going to happy hour. Who's driving? I'm going to walk. (laughs) Damn, that's crunchy. Oh, that's where the alcohol is. Mm -hmm. Damn. It's living in there. Holy moly.